So there's one we need to move, the Dollarbrook, that yeah. was actually on the other side of Sparkbrook, okay. Dollarbrook Road. Yeah. My dad used to go there, that was a gymnasium, but it's further away across the Stratford Road, that one. But there was a club as well in the bottom of the French Institute, right? That's right. The bottom of the you got right at the top by Hawley's Bakery. Right. Right at the start of Motor Road by Hawley Bakery, there was a gymnasium, wasn't there, a club. Mm. I forget what it was called. There was also a remand home. There was indeed. Wasn't there? Yes, yes. Yeah. A Thurston house. Yes. Yeah. And my poor old great uncle was in there and he was looking for stealing five and a shilling. <laughs> about the mostly old baths and the library. No? So that would be a good one to get in, the baths and the library. The, um, what happened in 1891 was that until then, yeah. Walsall Heath wasn't a part of the city of Birmingham. It was a separate little place. And in 1891, it was annexed by the city of Birmingham, yeah. became part of the city. But they had a sort of bribe, and they said, yeah. if you join the city, we'll build you a baths and library. And so they did, and they were, they're just along here between the, uh, the Edward Road. Ah, they're magnificent, aren't they? They're glorious, yes. And you can still have a swim in the baths. Yeah. Um, and the library is lovely too, actually. Really good, worth going in. When you go on the heritage tour, you'll have to walk in there yeah. and yeah. see what you think. It's and really good. over here is a tiny little road called Lime Grove, isn't yes. it? Yes, yeah. Tell them what was in Lime Grove. Well, Lime Grove, I think, was where the um, one of the first factories in Borsal Heath was, really. Um, because it's where there was a tannery in the 18th century which made, did processed leather. And it's because there was such a sort of supply of water coming through and a supply of oaks. If anybody, if you look down the other side of the road from, from there, there's loads of oak names yeah. in the places yeah. on the Oakfield Road and yeah. Oakfield House and all yeah. that sort. Of. And they replied, relied on the oak bark for the tannery. Yeah. And that was in Lime Grove. Um, and which also, is really good. The, and then, yes, after sorry, you, you carry on. No, after you. Also, the offices of Borsal Heath Town. That's Hall it. Was there, that was there, wasn't it? Yeah. And the um, the fire station, yes. the very first shed where they had a bit of a, a cart for the fire station. Yeah. The school here is Ladypool Road School. It used to be called yeah. Stratford Road School, and it's by a beautiful church called Saint. You can always tell Sparkbrook people. It's older people from outside Sparkbrook would say it's Saint Agatha's. But Sparkbrook people always say it's Saint Agathas. Agathas? It's and funny, isn't it? It's funny, the different yeah. places. Saint Agathas. Do you remember, know any of these over here, Val, those ones? Um, so this uh, is around Sherbourne Road. Sherbourne Road. So you Road. have some of the different things. There's yes. a brewery and there's the almshouses. Yes, yes. We have an, uh, such a lot of people who come and make contact with us who grew up in Sherbourne Road. I think because it was so densely housed, yes. There were lots of courts behind yeah. the houses, and in a court you had houses all sort of back to back and yeah. facing onto the court, and all sharing one loo and one wash house. Ever so many people come forward yeah. who lived in Sherborne Road. I think uh, I think Val's right because it was such a long road, Sherborne Road, and there were lots and lots of back to back houses. Yeah. And what you find is that people that grew up in back to backs, although they were poor, they had very strong community spirits, didn't they, Val? And very yeah. proud of where they come from. Absolutely, yeah. And that's I find that with my work is people who grew up in back to backs that are more likely mm. to contact me. The brewery was Dare's Brewery by where the Central Mosque is that's today. Right, yeah. And the arms houses are just at the back, aren't they? Yes. Which is Lenchy's Trust. Yes. Lenchy's yeah. Trust arms houses. Mm. Anything else down there, Val, that you see? Um, uh, oh, that would be a good one, the picture houses on the Mosey oh, Road. Yes. yes, there were lots of cinemas actually at Borsal Heath at one time. There's one on the corner of the Mosley Road up here, on the corner of Clifton yeah, Road. The Clifton. It was called the Imperial. Yeah. Imperial. Yeah. But down Mosley Road, there was the Mosley Road Picture House, and there was a really posh one as well. The Alhambra. Alhambra, which inside was supposed to look like some Moorish palace. Yes, yeah, from Granada in some <laughs> state. And um, that was interesting, the Alhambra, because it was one of the places where uh, a local MP used to have um, poorer kids in a band, and it was called Percy Sherman. That's right, yes. Yeah, um, and there was one down Ladypool Road called the Olympia. Yeah. Um, but I mean, the, the older people in Borsal Heath to remember the cinemas, were all, they were all over. Yeah. And they used to have all these jokes about it. Um, 
this this one lady, Nell, no, her joke no, was, yeah, yeah. she used to go into the, the old cinema down Ladypool Road, and she said she went in the cardigan and came out with a jumper. <laughs> and what she meant was she caught fleas. Fleas. So they used to call it the flea pit. <laughs> they called it the flea, flea pit. Flea pit, didn't they, Val? Yes. And over there, there, were, there was a, a picture house on the corner of Conor Bay Street called the Triangle. The Triangle, that's right, yes. And I forget which road it was on, but uh, um, the Luxor. That was down the bottom of Porcel Heath Road. That's right, thanks, yeah. Val. Yeah. And that was one of the very first picture houses, we call them picture houses, not cinemas, but it was one of the very first picture houses that showed Asian films. Yes. A lot of right. wasn't it, Val? And an important one over here, the other just off the Lady Ball Road, was the Colton yeah, Cinema. Just there, yeah. Now, that one um, had a terrible thing happen to it. Um, during the war, they, when there was an air raid going on, they used to sent, uh, sound the air raid siren and lots of people left the cinema and went down to the air raid shelters. But quite a lot of people decided it was they just couldn't be bothered and they stayed sitting in their seats. And in fact, the Carlton was hit directly by a bomb and I think about 12 people were killed. Yes, yeah, tw uh, yeah 21. 21 people 21, were killed. I think 21, I might be wrong. But um, and it was right in the middle of a storm seed and some film the Typhoon, typhoon. typhoon. Yeah. Yeah, um, and the bomb fell right through the cinema and killed the people in their seats. In the first two rows. Thing. Do you remember I showed you the photo last week? Yeah. yeah. And in fact, if you go to the site now, there's a little garden there with a plaque in memory of the people who yeah. died. Because of course they were just people going to the cinema. Yeah.